Yeah, it's good old Oblidus time. Hopefully we can knock out the rest of what I want to do, which really is just one thing. I just want to beat the nightmare mode and call it a day. That's the plan, at least. Did you know you can change the background of the main menu to any image? I saw a comment about that, that I should be able to change the background if I drag and drop a picture. Is that a real thing? All right, we're going to see if this is real. Oh my God, it's real. Oh my God, it's real. Oh my God. What? <laughs> I, um, wow. This is my favorite title screen ever then. That's amazing. Wait, I gotta get a good Mickey one. Hold on. If we're gonna do this, we better do it right. Oh, I like this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause it's got Mickey in it. It's got me with Alba Des Casa. That checks out. I like this. That's fantastic. <laughs> This is so, this is so cool. This adds a new meaning to customized hell. It does. It really does. I'm truly customizing my experience with Ablo Das Casa. This is really cool. I, I, I wish that more developers had this sort of um, genius, quite frankly. Nightmare Night should just be night four but more difficult, right? So if I use my strategy from night four, everything should be fine. And this should lead me to the final um, uh, uh, secret character, right? Question, how fast do they move? We better figure that uh, out. I'm trying to remember my strategy from night four. Oh my god. Um, what, what was my strategy? I wanted to get them to the top camera, but also I'm not sure how fast um, Attic Man's going, because I think it was the Attic Mickey that killed me. So let me see. Where's Goofy? There you are. Go up here. Go up here. Oh my god. Okay. So Daisy moves pretty fast. That's no good. What the hell just happened? Who just ran to me? Who broke my stuff? They're pretty fast. They're pretty fast. Uh, there is not any room for dilly-dallying around. Like, none. Imagine if the secret last character was the Jazz Salmon. Shoot, man. I'd be so happy. The last time the Jazz Salmon was in a game, I think it was in... Oh my goodness, what was that Dave Microwaves game's game? Strange Terror from the Deep. I, I was a secret character in Strange Terror from the Deep and it was super awesome. Oh my God, see, I'm, I'm already having to go up to the attic. Nope, 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 that's, that's nefarious. Okay, all right. I got them all in position. Okay. Wow! Wow! Maybe that's too close to me for Mickey and Goofy. Or Dippy and Mick Mick, whatever their stupid names are. You know, Dippy Dog! I can tell you the exact strategy. Yo, shoot. At the start of the night, lure Willy slash Dippy to the entrance and then to the bathroom. Flash Minnie in the living room. They go up to the attic for the face. Um. I'm a little worried that, like, do I have enough time to go back and forth? I feel like I should have them all in the same room. Here, I'll give this a shot. I'll give this a shot. Bathroom. Attic. Lure them back. And then Minnie is over there, right? Actually, I'm not sure what happened there. Was that Minnie? Was that Minnie? I'm betting that was Minnie. You know what? I have an idea. I have an idea. I don't know how effective this is going to be. I'm going to put them in that room. But before that, I'm just going to go ahead and die to Pete. That's, that's my bad. I wasn't paying attention. Again, I, I gotta get used to all this. What's this game like with all the characters? Uh, great question. 
You see, this is kind of the reason why I don't think I'll be taking on the true nightmare mode is because I think I'm barely going to be able to beat nightmare. Like once, once I get in the zone with these guys, I'm good, but true nightmare, I don't know, brother. Problem with the living room is Willie will enter the door really quick. I see what you, I see what you're saying. Oh, I'm dead to Goofy, aren't I? Where the hell's Goofy? There, there's there. Okay, I already screwed up. Yeah, there he is. I wow. I can't. I can't get in the rhythm. Oh my god. I almost want to just take a look at the map. Because if I can look at the map, um, well, it's mini. Even when you know the rhythm, this mode is super hard. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I mean, look, it makes sense. All it takes is trial and error. I know, but it's the amount of trial and error that I'm worried about. My face in the background, that's me right now. That's my brain trying to figure out. Is this is this gonna be possible for me? Uh, I'm trying. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to think of like how I want to approach this, because I I do think the bathroom may be the way to go, but I just have to get used to checking on Minnie very quickly. It's a six minute night, right? Like it's a full six minutes of hell. I'm sorry, not hell. Happy fun times. There you are. Both of you go here. Surprise. Okay, and then immediately, oh God, immediately back to the bathroom or are they gone? They're gone, they've already moved, but I can sneak them back a little bit. Oh no, they're gone again. Oh my God. Probably the biggest flaw of this game is being play tested by FNAF pros. Yeah, I can see that <laughs> potentially being the issue. <laughs> Cause I, I do not see myself as a FNAF pro. You might, but you're wrong. Bro, what's the background? It's the best title screen you've ever seen in your life. Don't you even joke about that. Maybe try not erasing the entire photo on the notepad. It doesn't take much to get rid of everything. It's not gonna save that much time. When you go back from the attic, immediately lure Willy Dippy to the bathroom, flash mini, once you're back in place, then erase the notepad. That does check out, actually. Okay, no, 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 I want them back here. This checks out. That checks out. No, that'll do it, brother. Oh, I missed him. Pull him back. Uh, I don't know where Minnie is. My bad, Pete. My, I'm sorry. That was better. That was a lot better. That's the loop. Just got to be fast with it. Gotcha. So it all comes down to muscle memory at this point. Yeah, I can do this. I can do this. I feel pretty good. I got the rhythm, I got the rhythm. Attic. I just have to watch for Pete and stop thinking. What I'm worried about actually is I am very quickly going to run out of music box. But I think it's okay. Because if I just follow where they go, wow, Minnie, you are quick. I'm fast. Minnie, you you are fast, girl. Do I think I should train in second chance? Uh, no, because I don't feel confident. Even when I learn what to do here, it's going to be just as difficult. 
I feel it's going to be just as difficult, even more so by learning like a full on second night. I should flash Minnie in camera eight after flashing her in the living room. Does she go to cam eight? I will discuss uh, cameras. Like I want to see the layout of the camera system and that way, camera six, cam nine. Why do they have a Wikipedia page for like cam three and they have a diffused description? You know, some, some things don't need Wikipedia pages. Like I don't need a Wikipedia page of every single camera so she start okay, so she starts in cam two, but she goes up to cam eight. Like after I flash her, she goes up to cam eight. Is that what happens? I thought cam two is the starting point and then she'll like just disappear and then start creeping out at cam two. Or are you saying, I guess she does go to cam eight as her next area, right? When you flash her, she moves away from you. So, okay, so she doesn't disappear. She's just active. Oh brother, okay. I see what, I see what you're saying. So like basically flash her twice every time that I go to deal with her. There's a lot of critical thinking that I gotta do. Okay. Crap. Man. I do have to question how badly do I want this? I'm not sure I want it that badly. <laughs> You're more likely to beat Jeff hard mode than nightmare. Oh, perfect. That, that checks out. Pete, I'm sorry, Pete. It's so dark in the attic. I'm, I'm, I apologize. Pete, Petey, Pete, Peter, Peter, Pete senior. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Oh, man, I'm I'm 40 minutes in and I already feel like death. And I really gotta have fun and like have the drive to be like, hey, this is something I really wanna complete. I don't know if I wanna go the distance here. Um, Just because that's gonna be a lot of pain and suffering. That and I have Spider-Man 2 coming up and I want like a lot of my live streams to focus on that. You know, like having a good time and not doing the same thing over and over. Because, uh, you know, definition of insanity and all that. I'm giving it the good old college try, but my god, there's a whole thing. Oh, I missed her, didn't I? I am forgetting about Hortensia. Oh, I don't know where Minnie is. Oh, Minnie's at my door. Minnie's at, Minnie's at, Minnie, Minnie, Minnie! Ugh! Stupid mouse! Oh my god. You know what? Let's check out True Nightmare. Even though we don't have like this character unlocked. Let's... Oh, it won't even let me because I don't have this character unlocked. Oh, wow. Okay, well, poopy. I see. Some of these aren't available because I'm still missing that one character that I'm supposed to unlock from Nightmare. Oh, that's annoying. Dude, is the Chuck E. Cheese game made by Radiance the same difficulty? Because I know that had a whole cast of like extra characters that I was interested in unlocking, but at the same time, if that game's like this, I don't know if my sanity can take it. To be fair, it has less characters in this game. I think it's less complicated than this. A lot of people are saying Chuck is easier. Okay. Because again, that, that's what I'm interested in like potentially going back for, but whatever. Sam, did I hear Mickey and Minnie are breaking up? Good, uh, they deserve it. After what they're putting me through, <laughs> don't even care. Oh my God. The all max mode for Chuck E. Cheese is considered to be the hardest all max mode ever? Excuse me? What? You're not making me feel good about my life choices at the moment. All right, since the game won't technically let me do the whole uh, true nightmare. I'm just gonna set everyone to 20. I just wanna see what the hell that's supposed to look like. This is a bad idea. It's, it's a stupid idea. All right, place your bets. Who's gonna kill me? No 
shot. There is no shot. I don't think that was that wasn't an attic character. That wasn't an attic character. That was Mick Mick. That I would have had to shut my eyes. Like I had a blink and then it gets rid of them. Um, I'm kind of thinking that maybe like I, like maybe we decide to move on to something else and like we'll just say, listen, I gave it the good old college try, but after playing it, I now know that this would take me an absurd amount of time to master, but I don't I don't know if that life's for me because I, I got other stuff I gotta be doing. If this is off the table, what's next? Well, I want to check out a cutscene because there is a cutscene that is still locked that I can only access after beating the true nightmare mode, which you saw how I've been playing. Yeah! So I'm thinking, because I did find the true nightmare cutscene, so I'm thinking we watch the cutscene just to get a little bit of the lore. You know, from people who have beaten the true nightmare mode. Tell you what, I do have Nephrite's channel, and this is a dude who's been in my chat a couple times helping me out through Abu Casa. He's beaten everything and has play tested. So we're gonna pull his true nightmare. No post mortem. I don't know what that means. No post mortem. Oh, no post mortem. Like, okay, no second. Like, post mortem is like the second office chance thing. Yeah, so he, he beat the true nightmare mode. I'll leave a link to his video in the comment section below of this video. Credit where credit is due and all that good stuff. Let, let's see what true expert gameplay looks like. Let's see the pinnacle of FNAF, huh? I mean, so far, basically using the strategy that I was attempting. It's just when the other characters show up that I'm like, how are you dealing? Slow down, slow down, okay. See, the thing is, this guy knows exactly where the animatronics, animatronics, where the ghost, whatever these things are. He knows exactly where they are at all times. No question. There's someone he's going to to just flash the camera. There's some weird stuff happening. There's someone new in the camera. I think that's our secret character that we didn't unlock that I keep seeing in the camera. Oh, there's there's the there's the scarecrow guy. All right, so that's what expert gameplay looks like for for everyone wondering. They're costumes. They're not animatronics. I know. I know. I'm going to let my man finish up his run and then we're going to check out the cutscene. Hey, would you look at that? He won. <laughs> People who sit down, like, people who are true FNAF experts are astounding. Because they absolutely are on another level. You know, Jake, I really have my doubts about you. I mean, after everything that happened, after what they did, and then they sent you here, who wouldn't? But you impressed me. You really did. I was angry first. Angry what? What? to bring mother down. My bad. <laughs> oh, you wanted that, okay. I 
I, I did not. Yeah. You're welcome. Dang, that is... That was pretty nutty. And again, all that courtesy from Nephrite. Dang. Holy crap. When he said that I did the impossible, I'm like, nope. No, I did not. <laughs> I, I cheated and looked it up on YouTube. But he's right about one thing. I think that this is where me and Treasure Island part ways, or at least good old Oblidus Casa. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied, mostly how far we've come in Oblidus Casa. I still have that one character. I'm gonna search up what that character is. Hold on. Oh, the Corruptus? Yo, that's actually pretty hype. This, this thing is nuts. I'm gonna put him on the screen. Okay, that's Corruptus. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool looking. I think this is the thing that was on the monitor that I would have had to like click off of or at least flash once or twice. That's, that's, that's pretty neat. All right, good old Oblidus Casa. With <laughs> still the greatest background title screen that has ever existed in any game. I cheated and looked it up on YouTube. 